All right, hello, welcome to another video. This is some more Rayman. So hopefully all the Rayman fans are excited and non-Rayman fans because it's still an enjoyable video as we talk about pants and socks. Lovely. So as you just in there, that's a little shortcut if you want to use that. But I need to go over here first anyway because I believe there's a cage to collect. There is lovely. I wish I knew what part this was, but then that would be professional of me to actually look up what part I'm actually doing. I think it's about part 12? Have I done 12 of these? I don't know. <laughs> I think we're in double figures now. I'm not even 100% sure. But yes, Pencil Pens Hathalon, as I was saying. Of course, named so because it's made up of five levels. No way that would make sense, it's made up of three. Despite Pentathlon being made up of five events in the Olympics, because it comes from the word um, penta, meaning five sides. So you get like pentagrams and stuff. But whatever game. Should be called Triathlon, really. Pencil Triathlon. But then I guess they was going for a bit of an alliteration there. Don't think there's actually that many levels that have alliterations. Pink plant woods, I guess, will count as one. Scops stalactites. And then this one. I'm not sure about any other ones. Are there any other levels? Mr. Dark's Dare? Yeah, that one would count, actually. Lu -lu -la -la -la. Right, I believe this is a cage as well? Or is it life? There's a life in a cage? I'm not 100% sure. Is it just a life? That wasn't worth it. What have I gone down here for? Why do I always go in this room, even though it's more likely to kill me? Because you've got to try and jump back onto this uh, sharpener here, and that can be very dangerous. There we go. I did it. Hurrah! La la la. Hello. Oh! I've got to jump off the sharpen now. How dare you shoot at me? That's a little, another little shortcut there. I'm using all the shortcuts in the game. How dare you chase me? Again, I don't believe there's a cage. I hate hitting this one as well because. I can't remember where the sharpener is. Where is the sharpener down here? I can't see it. This could just mean death. There it is. <laughs> this is only worth a life, I believe, as well. So why am I getting it? I don't know. I'm just showing you the whole of the level. In these videos, I do like to show you some... Oof, that was a bit lucky there. <laughs> no, I mean, I was meant to do that. That's what I was meant to do. There's also a P over here. I'm trying to show like all the little secret areas and levels where you get the lives, peas, extra punches and stuff. Just in case you want to know where they are. It can be useful. Although really, like, extra lives shouldn't be worth almost risking your life. Yay, I got up to the high part. There's a pea up there. Lots of peas. There's a third pea. There's peas everywhere. How did I just miss that? I don't think there's a checkpoint in this level, is there? No, it was. Well, I've gone all the way back here <laughs> because I messed up. Wow, that's embarrassing. I shouldn't be too far getting back to where I was. Everything was going so well, wasn't it? I was having a lovely time. Oh, you testicle eater. Get back here. Hey, I got up there again. Right, yes, I've just lost about 20 seconds of recording there because I died. There we go, that's what I was meant to do. Then you get this sea of pink rings. You only really need to jump onto two of them. Some of them take you where you don't want to go and some of them go vertical, some of them sideways. That's part one, though, of Pencil Pentathlon done. Now then, this level. 
This is one of the levels where I got stuck when I was younger. My word, this one was frustrating. I didn't have the patience to fly under these spikes. I'd just be pressing the, uh, the X button all over the place and just be flying into spikes. Again, there's another good chance I may end up perishing to my doom again. Hopefully not, though. It's got un <laughs> unusually happy music. Like, this is not a happy level. I'm being killed. There we go, a little bit of duck there. Uh, uh, uh. Don't get too close to the spikes, you might get spiked on the bum. Ah. Just land, there we go. Ah, oh, this level's so tense, I hate it. Again, I believe there's something up here. No, it's not, it's the next one. I misremembering, remember, 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 There we go. So hopefully you've enjoyed my Rayman series. It is coming close to an end. There's only going to be what, like four more parts after this roundabout? Because um, Space Mama's Crate is going to be a video all by itself. This is going to be a video all by itself. Then Eat at Joe's will. Crystal Palace will. Mr. Scrob's... I could do Mr. Scrob's static, static Tide's end. Maybe Mr. Dark's Dare in one long video to end it off. Because Mr. Scrob's Static Tide's is a very short level. Anyway, that's a nice checkpoint there. Was there some health back? I might go get this health actually. No, it wasn't. Did I get that life? Am I being an idiot? I swear there's like a life there or a pee. Oh well, I've got four bits of health. I should be fine. It's, it's fine. I'm not gonna die again. Wait, wait, did I not take damage? That's like one of the first times I've ever done that and not taken damage. That actually surprised me. Or is it the next part where you, you fall down and you usually take damage? So yes, just use patience there and duck in between each little spike. But yes, I wonder what series I will do after Rayman. Don't want it to only be PlayStation 1 games, but PlayStation 1 games are some of the easiest to do Let's Complete series, because they're very short, well not very short, but mostly short games. And you can do them in like under 20 parts or so. Is that little thing coming back? Oh, yeah. As soon as I start moving, he comes back. Bitch. Take that. Because if I do like a series, like a big game that has a hundred parts, I'll, I will probably get bored, let alone the people actually watching the video series. Don't punch it, silly man. There we go. Four out of six, and there is two cages in the last part. So I've not missed out on any. Good. Playing the game well, kind of, in some way. Now, let's get ready for rubber hell. Oh, no. It's just a field of rubbers. And <laughs> getting this cage can be frustrating. I don't remember the exact route. I think you go under here, don't you? You've got to time the jump perfectly. No. Oh. No. No. No, Rayman, no, Rayman behave. Rayman. There we go. Then slightly tap, because if you jump too high, you can jump onto the rubbers above you. I believe you can, maybe, yeah. It kind of hangs onto it. Again, there's two routes. I will show you the fake route. This is the fake way to go. Then you get a new... No! That's not the right way to go, Rayman, you idiot. Go back to the rubber maze. 
This is the correct way. Now again, this is a notorious section. I was stuck here as a child for ages trying to work out how to get down here. You know, I'd be running, jumping, flying all over the place. And it turns out, you just walk. And it does it all automatically. Imagine that! After all that. Again, there should be a sharpener under here. Which is good, otherwise I would have fallen to my death. Again, there's not that much over here. But there's just some extra tings. I'm not even going to go collect those tings. I'll just show you there is some there. I guess if you're high on tings, and it could give you an extra life. But realistically, that little area probably should just have an extra life in. Anyway, this should take me to a cage. And it's the last cage of the level. Which is lovely news. Run back along these pencils. I have no idea where I am. There I am. Now this should take me down to the end of the level. Oh, I didn't get a very good flight there. Extra life. And then each time you've dropped down, these spikes appear everywhere. So you can't get the ever the other um, golden punch and super punch. As we fly to the end of the level. So, only one death. That wasn't too bad. But up next will be Space Mama's Crater. But that will be saved for another time. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Hope you have a lovely day. And don't forget to throw some chickens at your toaster today. That would be good news. Goodbye.